Welcome to the Smart Lab practice-based PhD program. When asked about the program lately, I've begun to describe it as an arc or a ship or a vessel, and that's not only because of the impact of global warming on a country otherwise known for a great deal of rain. I see the program as a safe space or a ship or a vessel of unusual size and with an unchartable destination or course that makes stops in unlikely places around the world with the aim of finding and gathering the smartest, most creative and socially engaged people who could, if brought on board together, make a real and lasting contribution not only to the world of scholarship but also to a future world not yet invented. Smart Lab first set sail from the BBC Open University studios some 15 years ago with a new style of practice-based PhD with specific aims and objectives that are transformative. Hence, the logo on the side of our ship is the butterfly the ultimate symbol of transformation, intellectual, physical, and social. I'm a doctoral student at the University of Glasgow, and my PhD was on representations of women from uh, the 1890s to the First World War. We have a constant queue for admission to the program, and many qualified scholars for every place we can offer. But we also seek out and hand-pick exceptional candidates from non-traditional backgrounds and bring those people together with high-level scholars in teams to address social, academic and technological issues and ideas together. I'm Devrault and my PhD at the University of Surrey was on the effect of new technologies and anti-philosophy on dance discourse. By working in this way, we ensure that each student completes a highly original PhD and also that the nature of the PhD process grows and is informed by a transdisciplinary team spirit respecting both theory and practice. Many of our students are themselves senior professionals with many years of experience in academia and the creative industries. They come on board the Smart Lab ARC three times a year for intensive collaboration and group critique, and throughout the year they also inhabit a real and virtual safe space system for creative exchange. Yeah, Chris Hales, I uh, recently did my PhD based on the creation of innovative interactive movies by the making of them and the testing of them with audiences. We aim not only to support each individual to complete a highly original PhD, but also to contribute as a group to the future of the PhD degree itself. The Smart Lab ARC is thus a place where preserving the best of the old tried and tested modes of research, which can be carried to new lands, and of co-inventing the most exciting and sustainable new research models for the next generations too. The Smart Lab ARC moves from place to place and has traveled through four universities since we launched and has set up many collaborative sister sites too. I'm Esther McCallum Stewart. I work at Smart Labs. My PhD was on cultural representations of warfare, in particular the First World War, but you'd be surprised how relevant it is. <laughs> At 
At each stop on our journey, we find talented creatives with unusual backgrounds and abilities and talents who, if brought aboard at the right time with the right support, alongside top scholars from complementary fields, could invent new ideas and new ways of working. So we operate a buddy system whereby both students and faculty work in teams across and between disciplines. This is the key to the program's success. Our basic aim with the PhD is to provide the highest quality, most intensive and supportive environment for interdisciplinary groups to undertake their research, each with a single unique project leading to a PhD, but each contributing to the group's higher knowledge too, so that each cohort completing contributes more than the sum of the parts. The easiest way to explain our program is to say briefly what it is not. It is not a standard UK PhD where a student might go for years without supervision or feedback and might have people named on the supervisory team who are not experts in the field nor committed to the student or the project. It is not a lonely solo enterprise of academic study in an ivory tower. It is not a program that runs Monday to Friday 9 to 5 p.m. We work flexibly across seven days of the week and evenings too as some of our team will always be rising somewhere in the world as others are heading home for the evening in London. My name is Anna Birch and I'm looking at um, gender in live and mediated performance. The ARC respects time zones and everyone's right to equal engagement from all over the world. What Smart Lab is, it is a meeting place for the minds and a space for exchange between performance and technology, scholarship and professional practice. It is a place where theatre games inform everything we do as they return us all to that state of unselfconscious experimentation that opens the mind to new thoughts and new ways of thinking. Smart Lab is thus more than a research centre. It is a community, a family of scholars who are travellers, thinkers, makers and doers, and who share the aim of inventing new modes of being that care for the world and for all the people in it. In both real space and in our virtual environments, our symbolic arc has taken the form of a pirate ship, a symbol for our social model of borrowing from the rich, who are often in industry, and giving to the poor, who are often artists. Or, in a more politically correct wording, we have an ethos of sharing the world's riches in terms of access to the knowledge economy and of sharing that wealth from within. Many of the Smart Lab graduates return to the fold as adjunct faculty with the wish to share their knowledge and their energy and understanding of our community model with the next generation of scholars. I'm very proud of the Smart Lab family, all its generations and its newest arrivals too. This is not a pride of ownership but of inspiration. Each new student and each new faculty member comes to the team or to the ARC carrying knowledge and talent and a deep sense of caring. This last requirement is the most important part of the admissions process. All the smart people in the world could not achieve the social and educational transformations that the world requires without that deep and profound social commitment being highlighted and developed together as part of the scholarly process. It's a privilege to work with each and every Smart Lab student and with all of the faculty and to learn from them as well as with them on each stop on our journey, live and online. Until we meet again.